Hello everybody and welcome to my first video of 2021! I hope you all had a great start. I did, but because of lockdown I am back in Switzerland. So I thought I would use this time to make some videos and to talk about some shoes that I didn't take to London with me. And for those of you who are new here, my name is Miyuki. I post a bunch of random stuff on my channel about literally anything that interests me. So if you're up for that, feel free to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you liked the video. <laughs> the shoes that I will be talking to you about today are kind of like famous at the moment. And no, it's sadly not the Demonia Shaker 100 because I couldn't get my hands on them yet. I plan on doing so as soon as they are back in stock. But in the meantime, I am going to be talking to you about the Demonia Swing 815. There are some things that I wish I would have known before I got them. And before you get them, please watch the video and hear me out because there are some things that you might not think about because you are just blinded by the beauty of these babies. <laughs> So first off, I want to say some positive things to not start on a bad note already because, I mean, they are gorgeous. Nobody can deny that they are just, they are very beautiful and I mean, they are literally blinding. So yeah, looks is for sure 10 out of 10. I mean, beautiful when you wear them. People are going to stare at you, so beware of that, but if you like these kind of things, People probably already stare at you, so it's not a surprise. <laughs> um, other than that, they do have buckles that are actually functioning. I mean, this is the way you adjust the shoe on your leg. I will be talking about this later on. Another thing is the heel height. If you know what I mean, I'm talking about this part here, the upper part. Uh, which is quite small, so they are also not too tall from... I mean, if you are not used to walk in heels, I think these are still doable. Maybe it needs some practice, but still, it's not too much. It's maybe like 4-5 centimeters, I think, so it's not too much there as well. And lastly, we have the zipper, which is going all the way down here. So you will never have any pains to get into the shoe. The zipper has worked well. It's like covered, like all of their shoes, they have this flap so it doesn't uh, scratch you when you wear them. I personally never felt the zipper inside of my shoe. So, I mean, inside at my foot, it never like scratched me or anything which I appreciate really much because I am kind of scared of zippers that are in the back. So before I start with the not so positive things, I just want to put out a disclaimer that these are just my own experiences with the shoes. I hope they are not your experiences as well. Um, just before anyone comes for me, I am, I am also sad about these things. It's not that I want them to be like this, so... I just want to be here and tell you, hey, this is, these were my problems with them, so you will not be disappointed when you get them. It is just a little bit sad for me because I got them for Christmas like four years ago, I think, and back then they didn't have the separate Demonia website yet, or at least I didn't know how, what what's the name because on pleaser shoes it was much more expensive so i got them off of ebay which i paid 115 dollars for them um at the moment they are 125 on the official demonio website um i ended up paying a lot of taxes because of course they just gave me the money for the shoes and i paid about like 80 francs for shipping and taxes and yeah it is just kind of disappointing not really being able to wear them and i mean of course they are nice i love to look at them but it's just that i will never really choose to wear them because of the following problems that i had so yeah let's get started with the first thing so when i got them first thing i was super excited by the way they looked but 
At the second glance, I um, saw this part here, which was really, really weird. Like every time I wore them, I will also wear them in the end of this video. It was kind of scrunched up and you can feel this part inside. So if you have slim feet like me, it's gonna scrunch up quite a lot. And then it's just like wavy inside, which is not the most comfortable feeling. And another thing with this shoe tongue or how you call this thing is while you're walking this thing just doesn't seem to stay in place at all it just always moves to one side and then it ends up being like this and here you can see your skin through so this is just kind of annoying i know it happens with a lot of other shoes as well but i just don't understand why you wouldn't put something to hold it in place like from the sides I mean, you can put like an elastic so it's still fitting for all kind of um, all sizes of legs and still stays in place. So, or also if they could have made like a flap here, just like a um, with the belt little thingy, you know, you just make two of these so you can just pull it through and then it stays in place. So there would be many options to keep it in place and yet they didn't and then it just ends up not looking really nice this is just a more minor thing it this just happened with me i don't know how it is with you guys um but yeah this is the first thing the second thing is just something small for your information in case you don't have a lot of experience in wearing platform shoes is that these shoes are very heavy in comparison to other uh, demonia boots that i had i think it's because of the buckles because these are like full metal buckles which is actually a positive thing but it also makes them very heavy so this is just something to keep in mind before you buy them it's maybe not the best shoe to begin with so I know in the first part, I said that these buckles, they actually work, which is true, they actually do work, but the way they work is just not very well thought through. And here is why. So every time you make them wider on one side, you will have to make them wider on the other side. So this metal plate stays in place. And actually for me, many times, the perfect size would have been only in one side less and the other side not and then it just the metal plates just go all wonky and it really doesn't look nice so i came up with the idea to make your own holes um which is really the only way out of this or if you're just gonna wear them really loose there is the problem of the weight because they are so heavy uh, they're just gonna like shake around your legs. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I tried to wear them more loose and my foot just kept like going up and the sole just like slid on the floor. So this wasn't just, this just wasn't working for me. So when I tried to make them tighter, I actually faced again more struggles uh, which was that while adjusting them i'm not gonna open them fully but because it's too much of a struggle to put it back in um but yeah you have to pull this part so you can get this little metal thingy to go into this hole but while pulling you have so limited space here and this part is smaller than the plate so it can just like go over that so this it took so much strength as well because you feel like you're gonna rip the leather here to, in attempt to put it in this hole so that was something that they probably just didn't think about or i don't know if they thought nobody's gonna use the smallest size i don't know but there are people out there that have slimmer legs than me and what are they gonna do and then while going down to the more crucial part which is here which is like the most important part where it really needs to fit very snug so the shoe doesn't move that also when you walk you're not gonna fall to either side so here it's really important that it fits perfectly and um, yeah so let me tell you a little story 
I had them adjusted to my size and while I was walking up the stairs, the shoe just goes a little bit like this. You move, pom, pom, and then it just ripped off. It literally said goodbye to everyone and then it just went away and it was even more struggles. This leather is so thick and I had to sew it back on with a fat needle. It was so hard, it took me maybe about two hours to get it back onto the shoe and not looking awfully made. I don't think this is supposed to happen with shoes that cost this much that the buckles can just rip off um, because this is literally my size like I cannot make them any more loose because then the shoe will fly off my foot <laughs> so here I try to make like in between another hole which I know it doesn't look super nice because now the distance is very weird but it's literally your only way <laughs> how you can make them fit. By the way, this is the buckle that I sewed back on. Here are some of the old holes. So I put it slightly more to this side, but yeah, it was a lot of struggle. And if this zipper wasn't here, then I would, it would have been impossible to sew it back on. So yeah, this is definitely not supposed to happen and I hope it doesn't happen to you either. So this reason that I talked about, this is actually the thing while I was really disappointed with these shoes. I just think it's, it never happened to me with any other shoes and I had lots of buckle shoes as well and it has never happened to me. So yeah, it was just a little bit disappointing. And the last thing that I want to talk to you about is that for me, for my foot size, for my foot shape, they are just, they look comfortable and I thought they would be comfortable by the looks also of other shoes that I have that have a similar shape, but it's just not really. I think what they should have done was, like I said, they should have adjusted this shoe tongue or how you call this this part here and they should have covered it uh, with an elastic so it's always fitting and then make these buckles not actually the buckles that hold your foot in place because it's just it's not comfortable especially also like i said when my bu the buckles flew off while you walk these plates are also all moving they are like stabbing your foot inside it's like yeah so these are just really for me, they are just for photo shoots um, or just to be nice in my shoe closet. I love to look at them, but I don't love to wear them. So these were all the negative parts about these shoes. Um, some things maybe I am just very unfortunate with them. Some things maybe other people have experienced it too. So please let me know if you still want to get them or if you had any similar experiences, it would really be of interest for me. And in case I still want to wear them, I just make sure to wear thick socks and also to put band-aids already on my foot like in these places because I know there is probably gonna give me blisters. Uh, which is also a little tip that I can give to you anytime you know you have worn the shoe and it gave you blisters next time just put a band-aid already even if there is no damage yet so it actually uh, hurts you less it gives you a little buffer and also a little trick that a friend of mine gave me for work is to actually put panty liners inside of your shoe i always had the problems with these that here it just gives me like a cut so since i wear them like this it works so thank you very much um, for the tip <laughs> last but not least i just want to make some recommendations in case i've scared you off on buying these but you still want to get similar shoes uh, which I can also tell you from my experience that I know are comfortable are for example the Trashville 518 which I'm gonna put the picture here 
which kind of have a similar vibe but the leather is made very differently I only had the vinyl uh, version of them I sadly got them a little bit too small because I bought them second hand um, and I ended up selling them but I wore them a few times and they were very comfortable because of the leather that is so soft and so it's like moving while you move your foot so it's perfect so I can really recommend these another pair that I cannot tell you because I haven't owned them is the Demonia Damned I don't remember what is the number of them they also look very similar but they are flat so I don't know if that makes any difference maybe someone in the comments that has them can tell me if they are more comfortable in case you have both of them or if they are comfortable for you so I hope I could help you out with that a little bit as I said let me know what you think in the comments as always and if you have any questions about any of my shoes just let me know and I will try to answer your question as soon as possible so with that we got to the end of this video i hope you liked this video i remember if you liked it make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you like my content uh, here is also my instagram if you want to follow me there i hope to reach the 1000 followers anytime soon <laughs> so yeah if you want to support me please do i wish you all the best please stay healthy stay home and stay safe Bye-bye!